So this time, uh, I think we're going to go back to Kirby this time. Kirby, you're starting this one off. I, sorry, you, in this case, it says I, but you discovered blank before it was cool. What did you discover before it was cool? Uh, binge watching shows. Really? Cool. Okay. All right. All right. I was going to give you cross colors. On the episode, you talk about cross colors. I was going to say cross oh. colors. <laughs> Alex is... Yeah, well, no, I mean, because, you know, we was in the military and then uh-huh. deployed. That's the only, we only could binge watch shows. We didn't have no TV or nothing that's like That's that. absolutely And now right. look at all these other shows out there. Man, so I've got four... Start- I got four hard drives right next to me right yeah. now. <laughs> full of yeah. movies. <laughs> We what discovered was the question again? before Netflix and all those other guys. <laughs> uh, the question is, Alex, <laughs> you discovered what before it was cool? Discovered what before? Probably man. nothing. <laughs> I don't think, man. My, oh, man, jeez. I'm, I'm a hermit. Oh, my gosh. Discovered. I don't think I discovered anything. Man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. I, discovered, uh, I, I would say uh, maybe, maybe uh, uh, discovered investing, like, in, in, as far as being in my family, now everyone else wants to like do their little their little twist to investing. But okay, yeah, I like it. I like it. That's a good answer. Very good. They're very distinguished. Mine's is more degenerate. Yeah. I discovered push pops before it was cool. <laughs> uh, and oh, okay. So Alex knows good. Alex knows push pops is push pops, <laughs> man. Push pops was the wave. It was one of the greatest things on God's green earth when I was younger. I swear to goodness. They have some. I just got back from deployment in Kosovo. They had some in the little deployment PX we had. Bro, I mm-hmm. bought them out that day. Nobody had push pops with me. I was the only person, I was the only dude up post with push pops. And I was rocking them. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Alex, this one's on you. Okay. What's one sentence that describes your year? I would say wow. Uh weird i would say weird Mm, Uh, it's a very weird year my so i lost my godmother and my grandmother this year but at the same time got my first rental property and got to travel a little bit more with my wife so i like it good very good things and some some bad things in the same year good stuff kirby what about you what's one sentence what's the sentence that describes your year um my year i believe i underachieved i believe i underachieved and what I mean by underachieved, I had goals. I passed those goals, but I still believe that I could have hit bigger goals that I set for myself at the beginning of the year. Mm, okay. Okay. For me, uh, it was enlightening. I spent my entire time, for the most part this year, um, in Kosovo, of all places. Great place. Not bad. It was just a lot of things were happening. Family members were, I saw family members pass away. I had a friend who passed away. It's very... When family around, people around you and friends around you start passing away, you start to really realize what's really valuable in life. So I, I'd say enlightening for myself. Uh, okay, so this one I'll start off. Oh, man. Jesus. This is the one that I was trying not to ask myself. All right. What is the most embarrassing way I've injured myself? All right. So it's a training event, right? I'm going to set the stage a little bit. So it's a training event. We, we have to go to the range. That morning, we get up. Hands are freezing, frosty. You know, I run and take a shower. I get myself ready. I forget to put lotion on, grease hair, the whole nine. I give you that because it's important to the story. So we get out to the range and we're firing. Pow, pow, pow. And I go to pull back um, the chamber and I I pull it. uh, Trying to make this simple for those who aren't military. Basically on the M16, you've got a little latch on the back where you pull and the bullet will pop out. So I pulled it and I let it go. What I did not do is realize that my left hand was too close to the chamber. So my hand, this particular part right here, got caught in the chamber. Now, I was so ashy that that part of the finger hand came right off. (laughs) It came right (laughs) off. So so I'm sitting I'm sitting in the in the cold on the floor and I'm laying down as I'm doing this. I'm looking at my hand and it's just raw meat i'm like all right well you know i guess we're here now this is this has just happened i have never been that ashy in my life and i will never be that ashy ever again i promise you all right <laughs> kirby what about you what's the most embarrassing way you've injured yourself oh it, actually it just happened about six months ago uh, nice. me and my son my son was uh 
climbing trees in St. Pete. Mm-hmm. And uh and then he was like, he was like, jump off. And my wife was like, You too old, don't jump off. Don't jump off. <laughs> so, so you know me. I, I, I got <laughs> I, uh, so uh, I had to I had to show him I wasn't old, but like as soon as I jumped off and I landed, my ears started ringing, my hip felt like it fell out of socket. Oh man, it was bad. <laughs> oh my it, was, it was bad. Yeah, but oh, I tried to play man. it off. Yeah, so I tried play it off. Yeah, so I yeah. To play it off and walk it off. Oh, it, I was broke. Uh, <laughs> You just move it a little bit slower. Yeah, you got to get off that tree. Just move a little bit slower. You're a little yeah. bit stiffer. Don't let nobody know you got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, what about you, man? Yeah. What's the most embarrassing way you've injured yourself? All right. So when I was 12, I okay. was playing. And at my grandfather's house, there he used to have a hammock outside. And my aunt like pretty much dared me to try and jump over it. So I was like, okay, yeah, sounds like a good idea. I totally just tripped over it. And snapped my wrist. It was like, I don't know, hold on, where's it? Yeah, it was. It was totally just like my bones were going the other way. It made a Y and everything, and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like just totally just destroyed my whole hand. <laughs> Good <laughs> God! And then the the even the worst thing is they were like, if you can move it, it's not broken, and it was just crunching the whole time. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait, it's making the sounds as you're moving it. Is that what's happening? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I was like, I don't think it's supposed to sound like that. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, fantastic. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Alex and Kirby. Please, please, please go check out their podcast. Gentlemen, what's the best way, and I guess, Kirby, what's the best way for people to reach out to you or Alex, or is it one on both? What's the best way for people to reach out to you both? Uh, it's it's the same way for both of us. You can just pass the money at gmail.com. And I'll ask, submit your questions. We'll answer all of them or submit the comments in the comment section on any video you have a question about. We are readily looking at the videos and looking at the emails to reply back to responders. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have enjoyed Alex and Kirby today. You've learned quite a bit about us. Uh, Alex's crunchy hand, Kirby's busted <laughs> hip, and my extreme dislike of all Hallmark movies. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys, boy, thank you boys for coming up on so much. And uh, I guess we will see you guys next time. Remember, you're better than you were, but you're not half as good as you're going to be. We'll see you soon. Thank you.